Hello everyone and welcome back to the Carmen Jordan career mode where we're going to take the beautiful lady to the top of the World Drivers Championship. She's currently in second place. Hey, good to see you again. The factory sent over the parts that were looking good on the rig. They're being fitted as we speak. Have a look at the report. Well, thank you Chris, my man. Let's have a look now and see what the new development path is. It's bound to be awesome once more and it is energy store cells wow fantastic we've got an extra three percent of fuel efficiency wow that's going to make all the difference isn't it anyway carmen's not actually here right now she's gone off to do some sort of yoga class for the babies or something i don't bloody well know so it's straight away on to carmen's twitter feed now and our first one is from mr jack me hoff who says hi carmen you should be in f1 i bet you are so strong as an executive meat consultant, uh, that means he's a butcher, Carmen, I cannot stop thinking about you all day while I am beating my meat. I imagine what we would be like in bed together. I imagine you would be in control, guiding me through as my hands are all over your body. Then later, under a moonlight sky, I would stick my huge but oh my god no block key carmen block key and our next sad loser is mr peter insider who says hi carmen god you are so sexy i saw that video you did driving in that car and what can i say seeing you in the car all strapped down it reminds me of when i was 10 and my nanny tied me to a chair Please will you marry me, Carmen? I would make love to you all night long, my tongue licking over every inch of your butt. Oh my God, no, no, no. That's quite enough of that. Guess who made the gossip columns this morning? Everyone's talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. Oh my God, it's Emma. Oh God, I am so sex starved right now. It's unbelievable. Emma, please don't walk away. Come on. Anyway, we've got a new rival. It's Lewis Bloody Hamilton. Wow, fantastic. Anyway, on to qualifying. And as we can see, Carmen's just finished the qualifying. And I think she's going to finish. Yes, she's in 13th position. But that, of course, was qualifying one, everyone. Yes, she finally managed to get into the second qualifying session. She's currently in 10th position at the moment. She's on the super soft tyre. She's about to cross the line. The gorgeous Monza circuit. And she's currently... Oh my goodness. She's currently in 4th place. Wow. Fantastic. Once more from Carmen Jordan. But after the uh, final results, she finished in 15th position for the Grand Prix. Well, let's do this then.
So once again it's time for the Carbon Jewel de Career mode as the five lights go out from 15th position and it's away we go. As you can see Carmen Jorda is currently storming down the field like she always does on this glorious Monza circuit. As we go into turn one she's already I think passed a few cars as you can see. So we go into this really really tight turn one. Oh my goodness she dives down the inside and there's contact with one of the false Indias. But now she goes out to the outside and she's going to get past Fernando Alonso and Natura Rosso and she's up into seventh place. So from 15th position to 7th, it's another fantastic performance from the first lady of motorsport. She goes for a move now on Sergio Perez, trying to sneak down the inside, but she doesn't quite pull it off. As you can see, she sort of jumped over the curb there, but that's just proof indeed, if proof was needed, that Carmen Jordan is pushing like crazy to try and catch up to the back of this false India. Okay, Carmen, we need you to really push now, really push and try to catch up to Sergio. We have a response. Oh. He says, I am pushing. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. So Carmen Jorda on the very, very first lap is saying that she's pushing like crazy to try and catch up to the back of Sergio Perez. Of course, right behind her, she's got Carlos Sainz Jr. in that Toro Rosso. Okay, we're going down this extraordinary long straight before we go into the tight right-hander of Parabolica. Yes, one of the best names in living history. Of wait a minute, wait a minute. I've just heard over the radio there may be a problem with Lewis Hamilton. Let's have a look now. Here we are. This is Lewis Hamilton on board. He's behind, I think, one of the Red Bulls. Let's switch the camera view now to the outside view and see exactly what's going on with Lulu. Okay, so there he goes. He's, he's actually battling with uh, one of the Williams. As you can see, he goes a little bit wide. And oh my god, he gets tagged. He gets tagged by one of the Ferraris. It looks like he's lost some of his front wing as well. But he made Oh my goodness gracious me! Carmen Jordan had to take a void in action there to avoid Lewis Hamilton. Let's have a look at the replay and see exactly what happened there. There's Lulu and she's got nowhere to go. Oh my god, and she just manages to squeeze past Lewis. Wow. And then we have a response from Carmen. She says that was close. That was very, very close indeed, Carmen. Okay, this is still the second lap. Jordan still in second place as we accelerate forward now to lap four. And I do believe there's a couple of cars in the pits yes there is so it looks like Carmen is going to get up into fourth place is it now yes fourth position now for Carmen Jorda as we go into lap five and we accelerate forward now just coming to the end of lap five and it looks like there's two more cars in the pit so it looks like Carmen is going to gain two more positions and yes she does and she's now up into second place there's just Valtteri Bottas now currently in the lead as we accelerate forward now to the end of lap six and Valtteri's into the pits everyone so Carmen Jordan gets past the start and finish line and she's now in first place yes first position for Carmen or oh, we have a response she says the car feels good well done Carmen just keep pushing now you're in first so you're doing well and the tyres are at about 35% so they're still doing okay of course Carmen started on the medium tyres we accelerate forward down to lap 10 and she's under real pressure from a car behind I do believe it's Bottas let's have a look at Valtteri Bottas he gets past Carmen Jordan but she's not going to give up on that she goes past Bottas but she has to go very very wide just to cut across the track and almost contact with Bottas but once again Bottas gets past her but now she's got real trouble from her teammate yes Kevin Magnussen so we come down this extraordinary long straight before we go into the parabolica section but look at this Carmen Jordan's got to run on Bottas she goes down the inside and there's a slight bit of contact but she gets past and so does Kevin Magnussen but now Kevin Magnussen is attacking Carmen Jordan there we are from K-Max view he's now onto the right hand side of Carmen Jordan he tries to get past but no Carmen has the line and she manages to maintain her first place and look at this the Williams also gets past Kevin Magnussen as well wow fantastic Okay then, we've accelerated forward now to lap 11. Jordan still in first place at the moment. Her teammate Kevin Magnussen just behind us. We've accelerated forward now to lap 12. And her teammate is coming to the pits. K Magazine and now Bottas is right behind us. We've accelerated forward now to lap 12. And look at this, Valtteri Bottas is now going down the inside, I do believe. He almost makes a position. Oh, it's contact. It's a tiny bit of contact. Uh, yes, she says, what is he doing? I don't know, Carmen, but there you go. Carries on, and her tyres are at 67%, so it's soon time to come in for her first pit stop as we slowly fall down lap 13. And she's under real pressure now, but I think this is Felipe Massa, not Bottas. Yes, it is Felipe Massa. He goes down the inside of Carmen Jordan. She has to cut in for the line now, and it's contact, and oh my god, he's off. Massa has gone off. Unbelievable scenes. Oh my goodness. And it looks like there may be some damage to Felipe Massa's car. Uh, yes there is as you can see there his front wing has gone yes the wing has gone for Felipe Massa and Carmen comes into the pits and she says that was not my fault no it's okay Carmen just keep going that was just a racing incident so in Carmen Jordan comes for her pit stop she's currently on the medium tyres 
I think she may go on to the yellow wall, the soft tyre. Yes, she does. So out she goes. And where is she going to rejoin the field as she comes out of the pits? Of course, she was in a net first place, but of course, she's going to lose a few positions now. Wow, there's quite a few cars going past her. She rejoins the field and she's now down to 10th position on lap 14. So we accelerate forward down to lap 16. There's a yellow flag warning. Oh my goodness, one of the cars has gone off. I think it's Carlos Sainz. Yes, he is just off to the right hand side. And now Carmen is up into 7th place with Nico Hulkenberg directly in front of her and uh, Max Verstappen directly behind her. Now it's only forward now to lap 16. Her teammate once again has come into the pits. That's Kevin Magnussen. And Carmen Jordan goes past and she's now up into 6th place. No, 4th position now. Well, fantastic from Carmen Jordan on lap 17 now. And got the safety car. Sergio Perez is now out of the race. Oh my goodness. We're going to have a look at a replay and see exactly what happened to Sergio Perez now. Okay, so it looks like it's Valtteri Bottas actually having a fight there with, I think it's uh, Nico Rosberg. There's contact with Bottas and Bottas goes round. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Let's have a look from the outside camera view and see exactly what's happening. There was Bottas on Nico Rosberg. They sort of squeeze each other going round into the parabolic as you can see and around he goes. But of course we've still got green flags. There should be yellows in this section but no there's green flags still. Let's have a look now from the scary slow-mo view of Sergio Perez and oh my goodness completely unsighted and he crashes straight into Valtteri. This is going to be very painful. Wham bam look at this you can see the suspension box down at the back. He then flips up onto the front as you can see and so does Valtteri Bottas. Both the wings, of course, have now gone off the cars and we've still got green flags. Well, this is a fundamental mistake by the people in charge. There definitely should have been yellow flags there for Valtteri Bottas. So Bottas now is coming down to rest and so has uh, Sergio Perez. But of course, I think his right front wheel has come off. Let's have another even more scary slow-mo view of Perez. Oh, look at the way his head went forward there under the G-force impact of going straight into Valtteri Bottas. Wow, I wouldn't be too surprised if Sergio hasn't got a bit of whiplash there because that was a really heavy impact. And as you can see, his wheel has now turned all the way around, which means his suspension is now completely collapsed. So Sergio, of course, as we got the message earlier, is out of the Grand Prix. Let's have one last, even more scary brown trousers view as Sergio goes straight into Valtteri. Oh, what a thump that must have been for Sergio Perez. The wings go flying, as you can see. Um, his wheel starts to come around and there's the result okay and because of that of course the safety car has come out and Carmen Jordan is going to come in for another pit stop this is another tactical move from Carmen Jordan she's currently in sixth position she's not going to lose many places though because everyone is under safety car conditions so now she comes in and she's going to go on to the super soft tyre yes the red wall tyre because this hopefully should get her to the end of the Grand Prix they're not going to last much longer than about nine laps but that should be just enough to get her to the end. So she rejoins now. And where is she going to rejoin onto the track? Well, she's got no cars around her. And she's, oh my goodness, she's currently in 14th place though. But as we accelerate forward to the end of the safety car period, she's now up into 12th position just behind her fellow countryman, Fernando Alonso. And it's time to say, go, go, go. The green flag has gone out on that 20 out of 27. There's still cars coming into the pits though. Look at this. And so Carmen Jordan is going to get past a few more and she's now uh, up into 10th visit. Oh, oh, she's going for Alonso. She goes down the inside of Fernando Alonso. But Fernando is still there as she goes into the very, very tight chicane section here and there's contact with Fernando Alonso as well and he manages to get the position back from Carmen Jordan. Wow, fantastic driving there from Fernando so she still maintains 10th position but she's not going to give up on this as she goes down the inside of Fernando once more and gets that position <laughs> and we got a response from Carmen she says sorry Fernando I love you because of course that's her fellow countryman from Spain okay we're so late forward now still on lap 21 as you can see it's a car going around the outside it's Fernando Alonso once oh my goodness we got a yellow flag I think there may have been contact and Fernando is out of the Grand Prix oh no and yes Carmen says no oh my goodness so Fernando Alonso is out of the Grand Prix as we go around Parabolica the cars seem to be slowing down as you can see Carmen now in ninth position 
And now we have another response from Carmen. She says, out of the way, lads, because I'm coming through. So she gets past Daniel Kubiat and, of course, Nico Hulkenberg. She's now up into seventh position as we go now into the very, very tight first hairpin into turn one. There's Daniel Ricciardo. He's gone very, very wide going into turn one. He's on the medium tyre, so this should give the advantage to Carmen Jordan because she is on the super soft tyre. So can she get past the Honey Badger on lap 22 as we go into the next chicane here? She may go for a dive down the inside, but it looks like it's going to be very, very risky. So no, she holds station at the moment. And in front of some of the other cars, I think I just saw Kevin Magnussen. I do believe that was the... Yes, it is. There he is. He just pulled out. And oh my goodness, Carmen gets past all of them. Oh my goodness, going into Parabolic. And Carmen's got up into uh, fourth position past Roman Grosjean in the Huss. Wow, what another fantastic performance from Carwin. And we have another response. Yes, Carwin says yes, yes, yes. And Kevin Magnussen actually comes into the pits as the DRS has now been enabled once more on lap 23. So into the first tight hairpin for Carmen Jordan once more. And she's now up into a podium position as we accelerate forward. And now Marcus Ericsson is now out of the race. Oh my goodness. Once again, they are dropping off like flies but we've got a green flag which means we can resume our full racing pace okay still on lap 23 and this time she gets passed by daniel ricardo the honey battery himself but she's going to go tight into the inside isn't she yes she does oh my goodness and she made it. oh i think there may have been a bit of contact with daniel there but it's okay and she maintains her third position on lap 23 going down now into parabolical once more but this time she's under attack again i think from daniel ricardo but he backs out of that move and stays behind at the moment, Carmen Jordan. Nico Rosberg is currently in the lead of this Grand Prix with Sebastian Vettel in second place. So he pulled out lap 25 and once again we've got... No, it's Hamilton. Hamilton is going past Carmen Jordan this time. And the, oh my god, she's going in tight though. She's going in very, very tight. And she manages to retake the position from Lewis Hamilton. And she maintains third place. And now it's a little bit of tire as well. She's 58% on the uh, left rear, which is a little bit concerning. But she's only got two more laps to go. And as I say this, Lewis Hamilton once again is trying to get past and get inside Mrs. Jordan. But no, he doesn't manage to do so at the moment. It's big sorry for that lap 26. Just going past the start finish line. Hamilton still trying to get past Carmen Jordan. He goes now down the inside of Carmen Jordan and manages to get past, but she's going to go, go down the inside into the first chicane. Oh, God, this is going to get very, very tight, but she manages to hold it together. Oh, my goodness. And she's done it. She's re overtaken Lewis Hamilton, but that tyre is now 70%. This is looking very, very dodgy indeed, but of course, this is the last lap. She's only got to hold on until the end of this lap. And she's going to finish in third place. Another fantastic podium finish for Carmen Jordan. So, Lewis Hamilton. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's been a positional change behind her. I don't know what's happened to Lewis Hamilton, but Nico Hulkenberg now is right behind Carmen Jordan. So, obviously, he's just got past Lewis Hamilton. Wow, there was no contact from anyone there. No yellow flag. So, that must have been just a positional pass from Nico Hulkenberg. Fantastic performance from Nico there. So, still the last lap, still in third place. We've just got, I think, two more corners to go as we go into this very, very tight chicane section of the glorious Monza circuit. And it looks like Carmen Jordan is going to cross the line in third position. And she's still under attack though from Hamilton, but there's no actual uh, arrows from behind. So she's got quite a bit. Oh, she says, great job, guys. She's really happy with that. And she comes across the line now. Sebastian Vettel, though, has won the race and she's going to finish in third place wow well done carmen well done indeed Whew. well it was all going on there wasn't it all going on there <sighs> unbelievable so mauricio montaberni beveni i don't bloody know i can't pronounce his bloody name congratulates everyone on the pit wall as Sebastian Vettel has won the race in a Ferrari. Oh my goodness. Now, of course, if you're an avid fan of F1 2017, you may have seen it happen already. Okay, so Carmen Jordan finished in third place. Sebastian Vettel in first, Nico Rosberg in second. So how is that going to affect the championship standings at the moment? Well, we're just about to find out, everyone. Yes, we are. 
So Carmen Jordan is now only four points behind Lewis Hamilton. 178 for Hamilton, 174 for Carmen Jordan. Wow. Let's have a look at her session goals now, as you can see. Yes, she's done that one. Oh, and yes, she's going well into the purples now. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. There will, of course, be more later. I was too young